While most of the people are still stuck on the question why Katapa killed Bahubali, there is still a small sect of fans who is wondering if Bahubali is based on a real story from history. Quick answer. Bahubali is mostly a work of fiction. However, the script writer, K. V. Vijayendra Prasad, father of director S. S. Rajmali, made every possible effort to draw inspirations from ancient Indian epics Mahabharata and Ramayana. The characters, the traits, the mindset and the emotions shown in the film definitely draw some parallel influences from the aforesaid epics. In fact, not only Bahubali, but all of Rajmali's works have some or the other features inspired from ancient Indian epics and fables. Interestingly, while the story is claimed to be based on epics involving Hinduism, Bahubali, was de facto a king who was worshipped in Jainism, according to various scriptures. Thus, one must not forget the fact that there are always two sides to a story. Therefore, the magnum opus might be influenced by the story of Rishabha, revered as the founder of Jainism, and his two sons Jadapurata and Bahubali. The 10th century Jain text, Adi Purana, states that King Rishabha divided his kingdom equally between his two sons. While Jadapurata, the elder son, took control over the northern part, Bahubali, the younger son, ruled the southern portion. However, things took a turn for a worse when the two rulers went to the battlefield, with the stipulation that the winner takes control over the entire kingdom. Bahubali, however, was a seeker of peace and joy, and felt it disgusting to fight his brother for material possessions, which he felt were temporary. As a result, Bahubali made peace with his brother and decided to give everything that his brother asked for. Not many people know that King Bahubali alias Lord Gamachwara has statues in temples of some South Indian states like Karnataka and Kerala. In addition, the film also derives some influences from the life of Maharna Pratap, the King of Muir. Hence, it would be wise to conclude that Bahubali is neither truly a work of fiction nor is it completely inspired by a single religion. The entire credit must go to the scriptwriter for creating such a brilliant amalgam of fables, stories, and epics. The Conclusion People should be encouraged to investigate and be a little be more curious about India, the magnificent and unbelievable stories, history, and religion, in order to understand better Indian movies and culture.